welcome to back on the bench. Now, of course, it's Christmas time. You can tell that we've got kids' presents here and all sorts of stuff. But most of all, you know it's summer when you're chasing Mulloway and your favourite gutters and the sharks are coming to crash the party. Now, one of the biggest questions we get is how do you solve this? I mean, we're getting bitten off left, right and centre and, of course, there's nothing wrong with taking a small shark home for a feed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to modify the pulley rig so you can also chase sharks as well as your, your standard mull away and so forth in the gutter, but, but just not limit yourself to only less toothy critters if you wish, okay? Now, it's, it's such a simple modification. It is going to require different baiting techniques and so forth, but that's also something we're going to run through. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the pulley rig right now for you, but I'm going to show you the piece that I change to make it all different. Here we go. What you're going to need is you're going to need some black nylon coated wire. I like 50 pounds. I know it doesn't seem like much, but in saying that, I don't want to be battling, battling away with 12 foot monsters. 80 pound leader. I don't necessarily recommend the platypus stuff, but it's what I've got around. 7 um, heavy circles. In this case, BKK. You'll need bait needles for your rigging. I like using these little tiny Gemini clips for the sinker. And of course, just your standard swivels, beads, and a lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly create the back half of the pulley rig, which is the sinker and so forth, um, off camera, because you guys already know how to do that in the pulley rig video that we've done. Link will be up the top there somewhere. And then what I'll do is I'll quickly just show you through what I've done once I've done it. And then we're gonna to get to the interesting part, which is playing with the wire and the circle and showing you how to do it. Now keep in mind, this rig will also cast a lot further than even your standard pulley, and I'll show you why. Right, and we're away. So as you can see here, we've just got the sinker clip. We've got the, the two beads, the swivel running in, which is what you're gonna to connect to your main line, which of course goes down to, in this case, a lot larger swivel than normal. Okay, which is then going to go down to the hook end. Now keep in mind, I should also have mentioned that the sharks that are in the gutters are larger. Don't stress, go up in um, wire size. I mean, look, I've had no problems chasing Mulloway and getting them on as heavy as, look, up to even 150 pound nylon coated wire. Now I always use nylon coated because I like burning it. Um, but the first thing we're going to want to do down the bottom of this nylon coated wire is just create a little loop and I'm going to show you why in a minute so all I do is just like a granny knot there okay I go through once twice three times okay and then I work my loop down so it's a bit smaller now I'm going to show you why in a minute okay but let's just get that down nice and small there okay and it doesn't have to be any smaller than that then what we're going to do is we're going to quickly twist the wire a little bit only just to hold it neatly, and then we're going to get our lighter. Now we're going to use that, that nylon coating just to really burn that in so it's nice and smooth now. Okay. Oop. Don't don't pinch it too quick because, um, yeah, the nylon can come off. But that's not really that important. So what I've done is I've cut the tag end off and we've just created this dodgy little loop. Now the dodgy little loop actually has nothing at all to do with um, hooking the fish or anything like that, okay? I'll, as I said, I'm going to explain this later, so stay tuned. I'm going to come up through the back of the hook here, okay, with my wire, pull it down. And what I want to do is I want to allow this little tag end here to be roughly the length of, let's say, half a blue mackerel half a blue mackerel, okay? The total length of this leader is roughly half of the full trace length of this, okay? Once I put it through the eye, I just loop it around like that, okay? So as you can see, just loop it around like that, okay? And then start winding the wire down the hook, okay? Now you only need to do that four or five times. You can go as stupid as you want. As you can see, it's created a nice little snell there. Now, I know it's hard to see through a GoPro, not really the best at macro. Now, you do not have to heat this up and melt that at all. So as you can see now, we've got the loop to the snell on the hook. 
like that. And then all we're gonna do now is we're coming up to that big swivel and we're gonna do, however you really wish, um, attach it. How I like to attach it to, through the swivel is I come up through one way, I pull a bit of leader, I go around the swivel once, twice like that, I pinch it and then I go back down the same way I came up through. Okay, so as you can see there, let me switch this swivel around. Hopefully you can see that. It's completely locked off and that there will hold it in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this wire down. And I, and I know this is gonna be tough for you to see because I've got bloody lights going everywhere. But there's the twist there in the line. And then you're just gonna take your lighter and you're just gonna quickly gently melt this. Now it doesn't take much, but what, what that means now that that's completely melted is that that's never coming undone. Now you just gotta wait a little bit and then you'll cut your tag end. But while we're waiting for that to, um, that to cool down, let's talk about this little loop here. Now this little loop here is actually gonna hold all your bait. So I like using Blue Max a lot in the surf um, this time of year. So the hook is gonna go through the nose. You're gonna use one of your bait needles to grab a hold of your leader and pull that through the actual Blue Max, through its mouth and out through the chopped off half. And then this bit here, okay, the reason we created this loop is that's what's gonna go on your sinker clip, like that, okay? And once again, I don't know how clear you can see that, but that's gonna go on the loop, just like that. So when you're casting, that's pretty much how your rig's, how your rig's gonna look, okay? It'll, it'll look just like that, obviously not tangled, because once it's, once it's all sorted, and I can see properly, there we go, that's how it'll sit in the air. So just like this, not very focused, I know, I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. But as you can see, um, that's, that's the simple basics of how to get this rig going. Now, of course, to rig your bait on this is a whole other episode, which we're gonna be doing an episode um, on bait rigging alone. Um, we're gonna show you how to rig baits like your octopus legs, um, your squid, your blue max, muleys, even mullet, and we're gonna show you how to effectively rig these baits to guarantee you get more hookups on the beach. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned in our further episodes because they're coming up soon. Hope this was interesting to you guys. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful, and we'll see you on the next episode of On Point. See you later.